So if you've been at any of my live streams, you'll know that I'm having quite an issue where I keep losing citizens. <laughs> they keep dying, uh, largely because I don't have many defenses in place. We do now have a wall, which is definitely going to help. But of course, the other thing we want to do is get a bit of an army set up. And so that's what today's episode is going to be all about. It's going to be the combat episode where we get loads of different things done, from building a barracks to getting loads of guard towers and research and all that kind of stuff. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it, because I do think today is going to be a bit of a longer episode. I'm here at my town hall building right now, and uh, having a little look around the town, the obvious place to build is going to be here, behind the town hall. As you can see, we've got this huge flat area, which is going to be perfect to get our barracks and stuff like that done. Plus, it will mean it is reasonably central in the town, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, what I want to do is go ahead and get myself into crazy mode a sec, and we've got the barracks block on us. Uh, wait, somewhere. Uh, there it is. And to make this barracks block, this is what you need. So... Just one iron, and there you go. Not to be confused with the barracks tower, the barracks block right here. Okay, so uh, with, that, with that made up, let's have a little look back here where we want to place this thing. So I don't know how big it is or anything just yet, so let's just go in here and have a little look. So this is a sandstone barracks at level 5. We want to see how it looks. Okay, there it is. So is that, um, let's see here, if we lift you up a bit. I know, okay, it is just like that. So it's actually a reasonably small building. This is actually going to be really easy to build. Uh, so I guess the thing now is to just try and get it centered on the town hall, right? So maybe there, I think. So like, this is the center of the town hall, right? And then that's going to be the center there. Yeah, this is it. Uh, so yeah, reasonably small building actually, but maybe we can build some cool stuff around this, like some walls and stuff like that. Um, the other thing to say as well is, although this is small right now, you can see these gaps here. This is where the barracks towers will be built. And so with four of those around it, it will look a lot more impressive. And we do have a builder at level five now. I did that in one of my previous streams. So this has the potential to be a level five building by the end of the day. So a level one, this is all it's going to look like, which means I'm actually not going to bother doing time lapse of this because as you can see, this is very small, but we will go ahead and hit tick. And our first thing is going to be to get this one built. So here is the barracks at level one. And yeah, <laughs> it's not like hugely impressive or anything, but this is what it is. Now, I mentioned about these. So we have the barracks towers and we can go to the build options and build them. And you can see a level one doesn't really do much. So just to explain how this works, you've got the barracks and you can build that up to level five, of course. Now, at level four, you'll be able to have four of these barracks towers, one in each of the four corners around the barracks itself. But at level four, uh, sorry, at level four of the barracks. Yep, this is right. <laughs> <laughs> you will only be able to get these barracks towers up to level four. So once you get to level five barracks, then you have four towers all at level five. And that's kind of what we're going to try and do today and potentially get some barracks towers put around near the walls and stuff as well. So the first thing to do is actually just to upgrade the barracks. We want to keep upgrading this thing. Um, so we're going to head get Richard to upgrade. And you see it's very minimal resources per each upgrade. So I think we're going to have this done in no time at all. And I really don't think there's going to be much point in time lapse in any of this because it's just like not a lot going on. And I think today's more about getting lots of things built and lots of things done if at like level five or something it is a bigger build then i'll potentially time lapse it but we'll see how we go so let's get this done off cam uh, and then we'll have a look now one thing i will say actually is richard right now is using rails there he goes ready and he's on <laughs> he's on the rails so this is going to be an episode all unto itself at the moment i've just been testing the rails a little bit seeing what works and what doesn't so he gets the rail there to his builder's hut to get the items gets the rail back and all the citizens use these as well so if you're interested in that do uh, keep an eye on my channel for a future episode where we're going to go into detail about rails and everything you can do with them well guys it is time for a bit of an update and boy have i been busy <laughs> so what we got going on here right now is the barracks itself which is the sort of internal cross-shaped structure with the black roofs of uh well it's black carpet floating carpet right uh, that is the barracks and that is level four and then around the outside of the well the barracks towers right they are technically different to guard towers um so we're going to talk about this a little bit now and have a little look at it it's looking pretty cool but these are not yet level five so this is a guard tower level four right here and this one's also level four and these two behind are currently in the process of being upgraded to level four but they're not just there yet um but, but you can see it's looking pretty cool guys we've got a little moat goes <laughs> around the outside here uh inside we have piston doors these actually shut i mean that is i, I just found that really cool um then we have the war room as which is just what i'm calling it but it looks like a war room right you can sit down here plan out your battles all that good stuff um and actually i'm gonna need to go back into survival mode to show you this but this is a cool thing some of you may not be aware of but if you right click and go into the barracks gui you can hire spies so it says here during raids you can hire spies to infiltrate the enemy lines the spies then let you know the enemy positions although they demand some gold as payment so you put gold in the uh, barracks inventory to automatically pay them and see there are five gold ingots to hire spies if you're being raided so we definitely need to try that out at some point hopefully in this episode later on if we get raided uh, then we got these shulker boxes and things around here this is all just decorational stuff 
And of course, this all leads into here, which are the barracks towers. Now, downstairs are the sort of army digs you get here. We got the beds for them. As I say, this is level four, so there's four beds. At level five, there'll be five. Now, what that means is these guard towers, they don't just allow you to hire guards for your colonies. They actually house them. So we're not going to need houses for these guards, which is very cool. So eventually, in this barracks, we go... Oh, I fooled. Uh, eventually, in this barracks... Let's go back in specy mode anyway and have a look at this. We'll have the four guard towers, or barracks towers, around the outside. Each of them with five people. So that's 20 uh, warriors, soldiers, whatever, in here uh, that are going to be housed as well. No housing needed. So that's very, very cool. It's starting to take shape. And, of course, we will finish this, this episode, and you'll see that later on. Now, what I also want to show you is uh, something kind of cool. So some of you who attend my streams, if you're looking for the link, it's down in the description. Uh, I do the streams of Mine Colonies reasonably often, as many of you know. And we had a problem on the streams where I accidentally clicked a research thing. Now, I have absolutely zero idea how this happened. But if I go in here and go into combat, guys, it didn't happen. So I accidentally before did this one. I'm being so careful not to click this right now. But this one, the quick draw, right? Now, this, what it is, is an either or research, right? So you can go down the melee route or the archer route. Now, I really want to do the archer route, okay? And so when I accidentally clicked that, I was so disappointed. Because once you click that... This one is all locked out. You cannot do it for the rest of the game. You miss all this stuff. And I really want some really good archers. I think it will look cool. And I think it will be a good defense for our town with the walls and stuff. So luckily, we can have this again. And I, I, I seriously don't... I wish I could tell you how I did it. Because I, I don't know. But hey, we've done it. So... We're going to do it. So we're going to research that one. I had the stuff on me. Precise shot is being done. And I'll show you guys now if I go back into combat. This is all grayed out. This is not an option for the rest of the game. But that's okay. We don't want that. Now, keeping with the archery theme, we're also going to do this one. So you see here, these require a barracks at level 3, as well as a university at level 2, of course. And then the resources that you see here that I'm putting in. So we're going to do an archery route, and that's the route we're going to go down. This is not an either-or thing. So I'm hoping today we can unlock not just archery, but also the combat academy and build the combat academy. But as we're down an archery route, I think it would make sense to do both of those right now. So, um, that'll just take a second to realize it's doing it. There we go. So these are going to take two hours apiece. In that time, what we're going to do is finish off the barracks. And as I say, I'll show you guys that once it's done. The other thing we're going to do is, again, I'll go back into specking mode for this. Uh, but basically, around the town, we're going to need to upgrade our guard tower. So this right now is the highest guard tower we have around the town. I believe it's a level three, something like that. Uh, we've got another guard tower just over here in the corner. And you know, I'm finding, like, you can see on my mini map here, I can make it bigger by pressing Z there. You've got, you know, north, east, south, and west. Now, Whenever I get raided, it's always from like the northwest or the northeast or the southeast or the southwest. It's always from one of those four directions. So what I'm thinking we should do is really bolster the defenses in those four places. Now, what they're essentially going to be is holding off the raid until the army gets there, right? Because when the army attacks, like when the raiders attack, like if we have a guard tower here with a few guards in it and maybe another one like here with a few guards in it, there could be like five or ten guards maybe that are going to be here pretty soon to like hold them off. But that won't be enough to defeat the raid. So this is only sort of, this is my action plan, right? This is what we're going to try to do uh, and then we're going to have more points like i'll show you over here where the guards can get up onto the walls and we're also going to look to put gates in the walls the gates that citizens or i suppose specifically the soldiers can actually use to get in and out now although i'm going down an archery route of course i will have melee soldiers as well we'll have the knights and things like that i think having a mix of both is smart but i think if we can have archers you know they can be protected because they can be stood up here shooting down for example or stood up on the walls shooting down whereas the melee they have to be there amongst the action and i just think we're going to lose a lot of guards that way so we'll see how this goes as it develops it just felt like an appropriate time to do a quick little update and hopefully the next update you see the barracks will be absolutely complete at level five with four level five guard barracks towers i keep getting the wrong <laughs> barracks towers around the outside so in between the last clip and this clip uh we did a little bit of a stream and i got a few things done that i'm just going to catch you guys up with right now uh the barracks though is now complete so we have a level five barracks with four level five barrack towers and so what that means is we can actually house 20 guards in here right now. Um, and they will be archers. We went on the archery route. And as you can see in uh, my chat right here, we got the research of the breakthrough and the research of something else. Precise shot. There we go. Uh, was one of them. And where was the other one? What? Oh, improved boats. I was like, yeah, so there's two um, archery things that we've done, which is awesome. Now, the other thing I've done is I've lit up the town, I think entirely. I'm sure there's bits I've probably missed, but you can see there's loads of torches inside. Uh, inside the walls here, we went all the way around here as well. 
and uh, there, there that is like we just lit this up like this um, so that is now all done now that means hopefully there's no mobs that are going to spawn inside here so uh, the town is now getting a lot safer uh, the other thing that we did is we've got some some children in here in fact let's, let's go back into survival for a second we'll have a little look at this but yeah so I, I've started to house people I've started to um, try to get some new babies in and that sort of thing um, I went into here and I turned on uh, the babies so first of all I wanted to see so we got one unemployed and four children so it's be five well guards essentially is what they're going to be when we get to that point uh, and there's a few things i did in here so first of all uh kids will be born i put that to on the other thing i did that i would like to mention even though it's not really about combat but it's about the school is you can automatically have your children going into the school and i didn't know this uh, until the stream but basically if you come in here uh, you open the school GUI and go to manage workers, you can set the uh, hiring of this mode to automatic. Now, what that means is, I had it on manual like all of the others. Oh, look, oh my god, I've never seen this before. Oh wow, they'll actually just sit around and be taught. Oh, those two are a bit close. Um, okay, that is actually kind of awesome. I've, I've literally not seen that before, I love that. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, I, I manually hired the teacher, which I'd say is a good thing to do because our teacher here has a really good intelligence level right so that's good for the the kids and stuff but then if you said it's automatic after that then the kids will automatically when they're born be put into the school and i definitely think that's a good thing now i want to show you guys something that i mentioned on stream i've i've built a guard tower up to level five so this here is what it's going to look like maxed out at level five now as i said on stream i don't particularly like the roof of this to be honest yeah i've been very positive about just about all the buildings so far but this one i have to say isn't one of my favorites um and i think it's should be a, a roof more like this like more i guess castle like 40 like right but the thing is once it's level five you can edit this building and they'll still be able to use it as normal so what I'm thinking is maybe I'll take this roof down and do my own roof and maybe I'll even like around here or around here so and have a ladder going up where they can get all the way up to the roof and have like a castle like structure so I might change that around but it has allowed something very cool so let's go into survival mode a second and let's go here da -da -da, and recall the worker because I want to show you guys this worker here he is, Nathan. Now, in his inventory here, this is what he's got. Full diamond armor and a shield. But also, guys, you can give them enchanted diamond armor once they get up to the level 5 guard tower. Now, you can also give them enchanted netherite or, or any armor. Literally anything you want. At level 5, they will wear it. They should wear it, I believe. Um, so, that is very cool. And we're going to get a load of these built now. That's going to be the next thing that we do uh, in order to basically better protect the town. Now, at level 5, this has a 200 block radius, which is pretty big. But it's... It's also like you're still going to need quite a lot of them right now as i said on my stream whenever i get raids they always come from one of four directions either northwest northeast southeast or southwest right they always come from one of those diagonal directions so because of that i want to build guard towers in those locations so for example this one here we need to upgrade it this is in the northwest direction so it makes sense to have that here um, i think we should also maybe have two on this corner but i don't know that we'll be able to do that so maybe we'll do one outside on this corner because there will be buildings outside the town as well uh, one on this corner over here so wherever we can fit them in where it looks good and they're going to be our first port of call to kind of hold off the raiders so with the walls and with what we're going to have in the way of guards basically they're going to be our first port of call to hold it off until the rest of the archers and the rest of the army can get to them the other thing i really need to do is have ways of getting up onto here a bit more because at the moment there's only one which is way over that way um so like a staircase to get up and down and also some gates so that they can get in and out uh, so they can fight the mobs or potentially just some murder holes so we're going to look at all of that today the next thing i'm going to do though is go ahead and get a few of the guard towers built as i mentioned before we are looking to get into a fair bit of archery for our town defenses and army and so what we're doing is making the archery block that makes sense right um so this is where we're going to be able to train up our archers and i think having this near the barracks makes a lot of sense so we're going to have a look here and see where we can put it uh, again i am going to go into creative mode just to see where we want to place this thing and uh, let's have a little fly up here oh this is a big building okay this is bigger than i was expecting and at level five well, not much changes from level five to level one i mean the interior changes but the exterior is pretty much the same okay so actually yeah this is like a really big building like, i don't think we can even have it that way where you know if we had it like this it'd be facing the barracks which would be kind of nice but yeah it's gonna poke out here i'd have to move this whole bit of wall which is just effort <laughs> so maybe not that uh now i'm like which way do we have it? i guess facing this way could be cool let's bring it here a bit let's get it like close to this wall I think we can have it nice and close to the wall and maybe even have like some walkways between this and and this eventually like that might be a thing so they can like stand up here and actually get across to here maybe we should like line one of these up so it's like yeah it's not quite gonna work but we, we'll see uh, okay so how is this there's the barracks 
the archery is really nearby maybe we'll have to like make our own little door into this as well because maybe the door being here is not the best um or we could put it like here like if i bring it you know let's just uh get rid of that a second let's put it like down here maybe this will be better so let's fly up again and do the rotation thing and now this time we could have it inside the town wall right and it would just be over here i can't believe how big this thing is this is actually very surprising to me that it'd be this big just for an archery tower okay so let's move that like in line with there and go a couple that way so it's not dead in line i mean the good news is i guess that um we have the space for this anyway it is and it's nice and flat and stuff here so that's cool and at least this way it is facing the center of the town which maybe that's better so let's move this over here a bit more so we can actually have some space in between the two and you know the kind of like would be a link up between here and here like we could have a road between the two or something right so I think this is where I'm going to put it. So actually, as this is such a big build, I will do a little time lapse of this one being built. So in today's time lapse chat, I have something very exciting and very new to talk to you guys about, and that is that I am launching an EDM playlist. Now, this is going to be for content creators to use in their videos, in their live streams, completely free. On any platform that you want to use it on, it'll be completely free to use. The music's going to be put up on all different places from Spotify to Apple Music and other streaming services like that. Now, full information will be coming. This is going to be a project that I'm be working on for quite some time to get it up and running as we are going to be getting over 50 individual tracks created they're going to be all original tracks which means you have absolutely nothing to worry about in terms of like copyright and all that sort of stuff and i'm even going to go so far as to make a downloadable document that says this in writing because i want to give creators the chance to actually have confidence that they can use music and it'll be free now free always and that's the whole thing with it right so what i'm going to do for you now is we've got one track produced we've just did one track this is like a demo that we're going to be using uh you know in the final playlist and it just gives you a flavor of what's going to be happening um but we're going to play that now and i hope you guys enjoy this then after we've done that uh, this was actually quite a long time lapse so then i'll get back to doing some random questions like i've done in the past So there it is guys, that is the first track and that is available right now on Spotify and some other places. I'll put the Spotify link down in the video description, uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, bearing in mind this is just meant to be background music for videos and streams and personally I, I like it, I think that it 
it does that. And I'm I'm actually very excited to have a full playlist of these going and have that on Spotify. And you know, then in all of my streams, I'll obviously be using it. And I'm hoping that if you're out there listening to this and you're a content creator, you'll consider using it in your streams and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That is the title of that song is Stratosphere Sunsets. And I uh, say there'll be a link to the Spotify if you're interested down in the video description. Okay, so uh, now we're going to get into what we normally do on these time lapse chats because there's still a little bit of the time lapse to go. Uh, and that is we're going to do the random question generation thing. So, first one that came up here today says, what are some things people have selflessly done to make your life better? And, you know, one thing since launching, or like, I guess launching this playlist is it's a bit early set, but since I've started going through the process of looking at how I'm going to launch this playlist and get an EDM playlist out there for content creators to use for free and all that kind of stuff, uh, I've had so much support from you guys on, you know, my streams, on my community, like whether that's in Discord or YouTube videos or whatever. And just in general, like, so many people in my community have helped me out a great deal in all different ways. You know, for some people, it's the fact that they donate to me and, you know, this project is going to cost me a fair bit of money to do. And the donations that I get are all going directly to that. So, you know, without those donations, without that help, it's not even something I would really be able to do. And so that means a lot. And it's not something I'll forget if I can one day, you know, get some success out of this sort of stuff. Uh, or I should say more success than I have, because I know I, I do well, and I don't want to say that I don't, you know, but, you know, if I could get to, like, that next level, I suppose. Um, and, you know, so it, it could be, as I say, it could be donations, it could be a nice comment on my video, it could be the fact that I've got a fantastic staff team who give me a lot of their time for very little in return, just to help me out to have a better community, a safer community, um, you know, that is free of people just, I don't know, being trolls or not being nice to each other, or even on the servers that I have, you know, griefing, stealing, that sort of stuff. So there's a, there's a lot that comes to mind about people that, really helped me out with things that they, you know, have done for me. And I just want to say at this point, a big thank you to everybody who is in that. I mean, you all, you guys all know who you are. And, you know, whether it's just watching my videos or, you know, the donations of the staff, whatever, it is all greatly appreciated. So thank you. Okay, so uh, next one up here. Uh, where do you get your recommendations for what to do and where to stay when you travel? It's an interesting one, actually. Um, I think that... If I'm going to travel to a place I haven't been before, the generally the first thing I'll do is Google like what to do in, let's say it's Paris, I've been to Paris, but you know, like what to do in Paris, right? And then you'll have a lot of stuff and I'll see what interests me and where that is. I think TripAdvisor can be quite a good resource because obviously you're just getting like independent reviews of places where people aren't doing it for any sort of financial gain or whatever as well. So you kind of know that it's a good source to listen to. So I'll look at TripAdvisor. Um, yeah, I'd say that's the main one, TripAdvisor, and I guess just having a Google, like I said, things to do, and trying to stay somewhere that's like, you know, near those places, right? Uh, but how about you guys? Like, what do you think uh, that you, what do you do if you're going to travel somewhere? What do you like look for and what's important to you? Um, okay, there's another one here. In what situation or place would you feel most out of place in? Um, okay, that's, that's a good question, actually. Um, I mean, I can think of stuff, but it's not very realistic. Like, for example... I've seen these like live maths competitions where people are given like maths equations they have to answer in front of an audience that I would absolutely cringe at that. I can't think of anything worse. I would be terrible at that. <laughs> um, another one that comes to mind is I guess trying to like survive in the outback over here in Australia because I'm scared of just about anything that moves in the outback and it's like this really foreign place to be that I avoid at all costs. I'm such a city boy since I moved to Australia. Like in England, I used to do camping and stuff because the worst that happens is like you get wet from the rain. Whereas in Australia, you can be dead within like 30 seconds if the wrong thing comes like within 8,000 miles of you. So it's a different story altogether. So I guess I guess those are the ones that come to mind. I think there's about enough content there for the rest of this time lapse. This was a big build. It took a long time, way longer than expected. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the longer time lapse. And uh, we'll get back now to what we were doing before. Here it is, guys, the archery building at level one. And I actually thought I'd built it in the wrong place because as we go and have a look around this, you actually see there's a lot of stuff underground that's being built here. So uh, here it is, like underground, I guess, like army barracks area where they, you know, eat and stuff, right? It's, it's quite realistic. I like it, you know, adds that bit of realism to it. Uh, but of course, the main thing is going on here. Now we can hear lava around here. There's a lava port in here, which I may need to take care of at some point. Uh, but yeah, they've got this, <laughs> which is so cool for them to actually practice their archery at. And that is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Uh, now, what I want to do is check a couple of things out. So first of all, in the archery block itself, build options, 
Uh, okay, so the, uh, the upgrade isn't too bad. It's going to be much of the same, right? They build more and more of these, and I think, you know, at level 2 you have 2 ranges, and then at level 5 you'll have 5, you know, and that's how that is. Uh, and I think also, like, managed workers, you can hire these people and it will improve their abilities at archery and that sort of thing. The other thing that I believe you can do is set to automatically hire um, people for the barracks from the combat academy, right? Or, in this case, the archery academy. I think we can do that. I want to check. I don't know if it's just the combat academy or not. Um, so, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Um, current barbarian position. Hmm. We can't hire spies. Maybe, maybe it's actually in the towers, then? Manage workers. Um, okay, building mode is currently default, which means we don't have it automatically. Assign guard to the job, find patrol. Hmm, so this is for an archer to be assigned to the job. So I think there might be... Oh, oh, here we go. Try to hire from training facilities on. Okay, so we're going to test this out in a bit. What I want to do, though, is... Because this is the combat episode, I actually want to build this up to level 5. Now, I'm not going to time-lapse all of the other four buildings of this. Like, we've seen the first one. And you guys are getting a good look at how it looks right now, right? And then what I'll do is do all the work off cam. And when it's to level 5, then I'll do another little tour and we'll have a look around. Then what I want to do is start hiring people in here and testing to see what their abilities are going in and going out of this facility. And do they automatically get put into the barracks? So we're going to test all that soon. Soon. I'm going to go do a load of work off cam and then we'll come back when we're ready to have a look at that. Well, the archery building is now at level 5, which is pretty awesome. We've got all of our archery ranges here. Uh, a bit of outdoor seating as well, <laughs> which is obviously important. Uh, oh, let's uh, try and go down here. And here's the like the digs area. And uh, there's more going on here. I, I don't really know what this room is. I guess... Like, I, I just don't know, <laughs> basically. But other than that, we've got things here like bedrooms, for example, uh, for the, the, the people being trained, I guess, the archers who are being trained to sleep in. And we've got a few of them. So I think we can probably hire like five workers here. And that is something we're going to test right now. So what my philosophy is going to be is to hire the ones that are best for the job. So if you go to manage workers, whether their agility is showing is quite high, we're going to hire them. So Bernard has got good agility. Let's get him in. That's number one. All right, 11 is probably going to be good enough. So that's two. We've got here, oh, a 19, 3, um, and then anyone else going to go? 16 is pretty good, that's 4. Alright, these are all low, but there was an 11 up here, I think, that I see, that I haven't hired yet. Here we go. Oh no, we did hire you, okay. Well, whatever, 8 will do, that's 5. Yeah, there we go, so we can't hire anybody else. So in they come, right, all these people. So for example, with Bernard, um, it says here, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, his, what was it, agility we said? So it's 17 right now. So he's our first one in, and I guess we'll just have to test, like, does it get better, and, and by how much as well. So this is going to be something we're just going to have to leave running for a little bit of time. And if he sort of manages to graduate this colony, then he should go into the barracks building as well, right? So hopefully that's going to be a thing. Now, while this is happening, I think what I'm going to do is work on... Is that... Our guard's up there, <laughs> Nathan's up there. He's having a sleep on top of the building. That is a very precarious situation to sleep in. You could easily fall off my friend and die. Uh, so I'm going to try and get all of these houses here to level 5, I think, in the meantime. Then we can get this guard tower to level 5 as well. And we want the houses upgraded so we can keep getting the new citizens in and the guard tower upgraded because that's obviously the focus of the episode. So I just wanted to quickly mention this. Uh, this is pretty awesome. You can see they're sort of shooting. These trap doors are opening and closing. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. They're actually shooting arrows at them so you need to give them bows which i've done um and they keep having these requests for them from the uh delivery person but i've got rid of those and given them myself and now they seem to be good and they're actually in here shooting this is so cool so this i think is them well obviously it is them in training right to get better at archery which i have to say is really really cool <laughs> i love this so let's have, we could just watch them from here for a bit but there we go they actually shoot at the targets I love this pack. I really do. It's so cool. So we do have five of them in here at the moment, all working on it. Um, one of them is not here. In fact, Bernard, our original one, isn't here. Let's have a look at Diego as well then, um, see what his stats are. So his agility right now is eight. Now, I've given them all food as well. I don't know why he's not eating. Um, but we'll see how his progresses. So he's on eight. Uh, Bernard, here's Bernard. He was on 17, right? He's a little bit late to the party, but it seems like he is now joining us. Um, so where's his agility? Yes, yeah, 17. And you see they get these little um, particle effects, not the hunger ones, these little green ones, which shows that they're learning. It's the same ones they're used for when the children are in school learning. Uh, this guy here's got a lot of trust in the guy behind him shooting over his shoulder. I think they should probably pick a lane each, but there we go. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just show that as a little update. I'm going to carry on with those other things and we'll check how their agility is coming on when they graduate the archery school. So I found out how we can also make the process of people...
being taken from the general population into the archery area here to be trained up as archers and then to be automatically put over into the barracks towers as actual archers defending our town so the way that we need to do this uh, if we come into here into the actual archery block go to manage workers you'll see this is now on automatic before it was on manual default which is the colony override uh, so what you set in the town hall um, is basically on manual so we we were on default and we don't want that we want it to be automatic so that that means that it will just randomly pick citizens and bring them in here to be trained up as archers now on the same sort of idea as that what you need to do then is go in here to your barracks towers go to manage workers you see these are the defaults put it to automatic and uh, if you are in the actual gui of the guard tower in the barracks here if you go across here try to hire from training facility we'll keep that on so that means that it will try to hire these guys oops uh, these guys over here first uh, and they are obviously being trained as archers so they'll be better equipped at the job uh, so we're going to do this for each one of them and put it to automatic and that means before long we will have a 20 strong army uh, so I, although i do recommend that you have uh, you know you choose the people who are doing jobs for most things in your town because you can look at their skills and that sort of thing for your army it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult and time consuming and it's good to automate some of the processes so this is one i wanted to do um, oh what is this um, it's, oh, eight guards. There we go. We've already got eight. Soon we're going to have 20. Uh, and plus the people in the guard towers, which we'll be building up. We're going to have quite a lot. Uh, now, off cam, I, I, once again, I've done a stream and stuff. So we've got a second builder uh, over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Um, just down through here is the second builder. So also at level five. Did that on a stream. We also moved the lumber camp down to here. So it's just a bit more out of the way. Um, so yeah, a couple of things there that have been done. But um, yeah, just thought I'd like show that on cam. Um, so you guys know how to do that. And obviously, uh, once you've got these archers in, they're going to potentially have some requests as well so let's have a look are you now yeah so for example let's skip the chat just go to the request so they want armor of course um, they want arrows importantly um, and they're going to want a bow but this is Allison already has one uh, she would have probably either got that from the courier or been trained as an archer and I gave her one uh, you know when she started there now just to say if I can find uh, someone like Diego who we were training before I did check uh, well, there's Bernard I think he was being trained as well their agility definitely increased when they were working in the uh, archery facility so um, his agility is 18 I think his started at 17 went up to 18 which which isn't great but maybe it becomes exponentially more difficult i know diego's if we could have found him i think he started at seven and he went up to like 12 or 13 or something like that so like quite a big uh, increase there but anyway we now have guards guarding our colony just a quick update i've been making some guard towers around the town so we're still on the one we have here which is very central right this is near the town hall and i think having another one on the other side might be good and you know having a few dotted around the town but we've also got like one in that corner just over there which is not yet a full level but one in that corner there we want to eventually get one in these corners over here as well in fact let's have a little fly around so like one over here somewhere would be good maybe like one or two down along this wall then we've got the one here that's like in with the citizens huts that we've got that are all level five the sort of housing development so that's this one here we want to build that one up a bit oh here goes some guards right now <laughs> i do love that they use the rails all my archers so we've given them all full uh, iron armor which was a bit of a faff but obviously hopefully going to be worth it as well uh so yeah so we're going to be like just building these up right there's another one over here this is near the fisherman's hut and stuff this one's a bit of a higher level and this will really be an ongoing project and you see here we've got the barracks of course and the archery unit so basically um this is kind of where i want to leave the episode but i do have a question for you guys because i've had a bit of a problem in that when i have a raid they don't seem to want to go and attack the raiders now the raiders generally get kept back by my wall and i'm able to kill them before they come into the town but on a previous raid i did leave them and i tried to like wait and see if my archers would come and actually attack them or not and they weren't doing that so I think this is something I need to play around with a bit, and I actually would like to do an episode one day dedicated purely to raids, so how to, like, fight raids, the little tips and tricks and that sort of thing, but I need to kind of figure this out, so if anyone knows why that might be happening and how I can make sure that my archers will go over and attack the raiders, hopefully from the walls, I mean, this is sort of why I wanted the walls, right, so the archers would get onto those walls and attack the raiders before they get in. Um, so yeah, we can have a chat about that, uh, let me know in comments, come to one of my streams, let me know, whatever else, uh, but for now we do have a very good infrastructure of army it's built up here with all these archers the barracks and all that good stuff um so if you enjoy this series please do consider liking and subscribing it really is greatly appreciated guys but for this episode i just want to say thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time
So I have to say 2021 is off to a great start for me. We've got a really good series going here with the Mind Colonies, and I've got the new project of launching my EDM music, which I'm very excited about. So how about you guys? How is your 2021 going? Has it been a good start for you? What's going on? Hopefully you are smashing your goals or just having a good time wherever you are in the world. Either way, I hope you're keeping safe. And once again, thank you for watching my episode.